Oscar, get up. It's been 70 years since you've done a recording. Who has woken me from my slumber? Hello, today I'm doing a book review on Charles Dickens' Great Expectations. Charles Dickens' Great Expectations starts with a young boy called Pip mourning his mother's and father's deaths by sitting by their graves. Until suddenly, a man wearing ragged clothes and seems to be homeless asks Pip for whittles and a fall. Whittles is little bits of food and a file is a blacksmith tool which looks like a flat um, or blunt knife you could say. Pip does so get these things. He steals the file off of his brother-in-law Joe's um, blacksmith and he steals a, a meat pie off of his sister. Matt, even though Pip does get these things, the the man reveals his name. He says his name is Magwitch. The army comes up to Pitch the, fo the following day, um, asking him if he has seen a man called Magwitch. Pip has now received an invitation to an old yet wealthy woman's house. Her name is Miss Havisham. When Pip arrives, he plays cards with a young girl called Estella, who is Miss Havisham's nephew, but she had... But Miss Havisham adopted Estella. Pip becomes Joe's apprentice, but doesn't really enjoy the job. He wants to be educated and become a gentleman. The following day, Pip meets a man called Mr. Jaggers, a wealthy man. Jaggers said, An unknown benefactor has paid for your education in London. Pip goes to London without hesitation. When Pip gets to London, he meets his tutor, Matthew Pocket, who is the father of the tattletale Herbert Pocket. Pip goes back home for a bit, and he's around 14, 15 at this time, and he visits Miss Havisham to see that Estella has grown to become a beautiful young lady. Pip is now in love with Miss Stella, but must go back to London. Unfortunately, Estella marries Bentley Trummel, a belligerent gentleman, as described. It's now Pip's 21st birthday, and as you know, Mr. Mr. Jaggers is most likely going to wreck his birthday. Uh, uh, happy birthday, Pip. It is time for your benefactor, the unknown benefactor, to pay your education. Pip thinks it's Miss Havisham, but to his surprise, it's Magwitch, the man from all the way from the beginning of the story. Dun dun dun! Magwitch requests that Pip runs away with him, and Pip, feeling guilty, saying no, he replied with yes. Their first attempt went downhill as soon as, as, soon as they left on their boats. The authorities came. With the, authority, with the authorities coming, Magwitch got injured and he had to hear the news that his money would not go to Pip because he is not his heir, but in fact it would go to the government. Before I die, please give my money to Pip. Oh, I'm so sorry, but uh, Pip's not your heir, so it has to kind of go to the government. Seriously, you're pulling that now? Ugh. Don't worry, Magwitch isn't dead yet. But anyway, Pip figures out that Magwitch has a daughter, and you wouldn't guess, expect this, but his daughter is a Stella, who just left London. Wow, Pip is having a really rough week. Anyway, Pip fights for Magwitch's money to go to his daughter Stella, and does so indeed. Pip and Estella show feelings for each other, but stay friends. What? Well, that was the newer ending. Well, not new for us. It was the newer ending for them, which forced, for, which was forced by the um, by the people of that time. The true ending was that they got together, but they had to break up. This book was really good. I really enjoyed it with the plot twists left and right it was just it was confusing but at the end it all made sense well t it was well told as well 
It was weird in the sense of how it was placed and how the chapters were placed. You see, Great Expectation wasn't written as a book. It was written in loads of newspapers and it was kind of like a TV show but written down because obviously TV wasn't around then. That's why the ending was able to be changed. Um, but other than that, it was it was a really good book and a recommended read. Thanks for watching. Make sure that you like and subscribe and subscribe to my other channel. There's no videos on it yet, but I'm going to post videos when I'm back at school. Like and subscribe.